Howdy ho, bitches! What's going on this lovely morning? Today, it's beet day. Gonna make a, a batch of pickled beets with onion. No fucking cloves. Gotta hate cloves. This is what I'm going to use today. Beets. That's uh, five pounds. So I've got six beets there. These things are massive. Like, I bought a bushel and they're mostly huge. Usually, uh, really large beets uh, can be uh, tough and woody, fibrous, but I've already made a couple of batches and uh, these ones are a okay. I'm gonna use a few onions and for the brine, four cups of uh, white vinegar, four cups of sugar, four cups of water, and two teaspoons of pickling salt. Uh, no potato vodka, BD's potato vodka. Uh, drank too much of that last night, hence the video being done this morning. Yeah, BD's vodka is Vault Boy approved. Made just down the road, about eight or nine miles away. All the potatoes are grown right outside the distillery. All right, I need a coffee. I'll be right back. Hold on. Alrighty. Yeah, morning Joe. Mm, my goodness. So yeah, this is uh, about five pounds of beets. We should get seven jars. Oh, that looks good. Mm. We need a spoon. Spoon. Come here, that's not a spoon. That's a spoon. So like I said, yeah, these beets are pretty big. Try and, uh, when you're boiling the beets, make sure that you get them all around the same size. Or you'll have uh, different cooking times. And uh, it's just more of a pain. I'm only doing one batch, because it's just for this video. Normally I would make more than this. So I'll just throw them in the pot. And uh, throw them on the stove and boil them. Generally, normal sized beets are between 15 and 20 minutes of boiling, maybe 25. These monsters are around 40. So, that'll give me time to uh, nurse this hangover a bit. Oh, a cootie. Get out of there, cootie. Hmm. Num num num. Alright. So, I gotta prepare my jars too for a little bit of sterilization. Here's a, an oldie but a goodie Dominion Mason. I have so many jars, it's insane. Alright. Get these on the stove and uh, get boiling. Rock on. Woo! Hey, not so fast with boiling. Told you I have a hangover this morning. And didn't even turn the stove on yet. It's like, hey, I didn't wash these fuckers. But I need to drink more coffee. It's too early for this crap. So, before you boil them, because they did come out of the dirt, even though they have been washed, uh, before they got here, they're not washed very well. Take a brush, take a beat. Scrub all the shit off of them. See, that's a bit of a difference. So, once you have all that done, then throw them in the pot and boil fuckers. Boy, I'm glad I didn't boil them. Dirty like this. And this does make a bit of a mess. That's alright. That's why God invented cleaning agents. So, you get the idea, once you do this, Throw them in the pot, get them fucking cooking. All right, cheers, big ears. We'll be back. Oh, starting to feel human. Okay, now that the beets are washed, boil the fuckers. I said this will be about 
40 minutes with these gigantic bastards. And uh, there you go. Put a lid on them. Check it in a while. We'll be back. And uh, might be on my second coffee by then. Okay, rock on. So while you're waiting for your beet to get boiling and cooked and you're trying to get rid of your massive pounding headache by drinking your Bailey's laced coffee, whether it be your second or third one, doesn't matter. It's just time to sit down and reflect on the crazy stunts you pulled last night. Alrighty, so our beats will be done soon and I will be done reflecting very soon. Rock on. Alrighty, it's been about half an hour of boiling. I'm gonna just give these a quick check. Bubble, bubble, toilet trouble. Uh, still a little, uh, still a little hard. But we'll let her go for, no. Oh, Ten more minutes and we'll give them a check. And by then, they should be done and it should be time to uh, start drinking beer. Alright, rock on! Alrighty. Beats are done. Long out. Stepped outside for a couple of minutes and might even be a little too done. We'll see. Come on, you little bastards. Okay. Hot. Beauty. Alrighty. Now you let these bastards cool down. Got just the thing for that. Okay. Hot potato. Hot meat. Hot meat. Skins are nice and loose. Woo! Ha. Little full. Now that one. And that one. So we'll let them cool down. And now it's time to get our uh, brine ready. Alright. Let's organize this and come back. Alrighty. Now that our beets are cooling in some water, jars are starting to sterilize, we need to make up the brine. And, oh, first thing is first, though. Oh, good morning, sunshine. Arr. Rock on. Oh, hello, sunshine. All right, we need four cups of water. Perfect. Uh, two uh, teaspoons of pickling salt. Four cups of vinegar. I already measured two cups out into this. And need four cups of salt. Or salt. Duh. Sugar. Put four cups of salt in there. Will be euchre. And two more cups of vinegar. All right. Give this a mixeroo. Get it on the stove. Get it up to a boil. Once we've brought it up to a boil, uh, turn it down a bit. Let it simmer for at least ten minutes. Covered. Alright, and give it a mix every now and then so you get all the uh, sugar dissolved. Then, we drink up and rock on a bit more. And then, we have to take the skins off the beets. 
So, get this going. Is there a lid? Yeah. Alrighty. Move some of this crap out of the way. And start skinning and uh, slicing beets. Alright. I'll be back. So, our beets are cool enough to handle. Now, just time to take the skin off. Very easy. Should come off with just your fingers or just scrape straight away. Perfect. So, you do that. Wear gloves if you want to, because uh, it does get pretty messy. But, uh, other than that, after you scrape the skin off, cut the ends, and uh, then slice them up. So I'll get the, I'll get one done. And, uh, very nice. Very nice beads. Alright, so we'll do this. And uh, we'll be back. Nice. Okay. There you go. And of course, we still have to drink some beer. We gotta get we gotta get going to get back on the vodka. Alright, rock on. We got the skin off. Looks all nice. Cut off the ends. Good. Nice. Can't wrong with that at all. All right. Hmm. Okay. Oh yeah. Nice. Very nice. Oh, you can use a knife to cut them. Do whatever you want. I use a uh, serrated slicer. Kind of like this. And uh, I go about a quarter inch. Something like that. Get that all the way. Yep. Something you don't want to be uh, doing when you're pretty wasted. Even hung over, it sucks. Okay, one more for good luck. Hmm, good. Nice. Those are still a bit large, so. Repeat this with the remainder of the beets. Perfect. Well, they're, these, are, like I said, a lot of times these large ones will be uh, kind of tough and woody. Nope, nothing wrong with that at all. Perfect. Well, you get enough of that off. Part of the scum. All right, drink a beer. Rock on. Jars are almost sterilized. The brine is uh, bubbling away nicely. And we'll be back. All righty. Jars have been sterilized. Beets are sliced. Onions are sliced. New beer is opened. All right, so put a nice layer of uh, sliced onions. Slice them, you know, kind of like this. Nice layer in the bottom of your jars. Uh, how many ever you prefer. That looks good. Hey, come back here. All right, and save the rest for putting on top. So, just take your beets and load up the jars. It's as easy as that. You want to leave half an inch of headspace 
for these beets and these beets will process for 10 minutes which is not bad at all there are some recipes out there that call for 30 minutes I've been making these for a few years now I'm still alive so once we get them filled up we'll add the rest of the onions and we'll add our brine and uh, my, like I said, my lids are soaking as per the manufacturer's instructions. Everybody has their own way that they think they should be done. I do them the way the manufacturer tells me to do them. Alrighty, so I'll finish this up and we'll be back. I'm on a bit of a schedule here. I think I'm going to be late. I think I'm going to go Alright, I'll be back. Okay, got all my jars filled, except for one, which we'll do now. So, this brine is good and hot. Once you have your jars filled, take a non-metallic object. I'm going to get the, any air bubbles out, so put it down the side, give it a bit of a squeeze, do it on all four sides. don't want any air bubbles in there, you don't want any botulism happening or cooties or whatever the fuck it is. Alright, all those other ones have been done. Our lids are good to go. Now we just need to... Uh, wipe off the rims. Might be a little too much liquid in this one. Of course, it has to be the one that I'm filming. All right, let's just see here. We got enough in there, too much? That's all right. Okay. Now, wipe off all the uh, rims with a damp cloth. Yeah, I guess they're all pretty good. And then put the lids on. Okay. If you don't wipe off the lid or the rims, your lid won't give you a, a proper seal. Okay. I'll do that to the rest and we'll be back. Last one. Make sure your rings are just finger tight. Don't over tighten them. Good. Good to go. And once the water comes back to a boil, process for 10 minutes. And make sure you have at least an inch of water over the top of your jars. Alrighty. We're gonna let that come up to a boil. And uh, this is what I got going on. Hold on a second here. So that's how many beets I got left. And uh, yeah, that bowl is empty. There we go. So, oh, let's see what's going on out here. Sunshine. And there we go. So once that comes back to a boil, process it for 10 minutes. Alrighty. We'll be back, uh, well, a little longer than 10 minutes. Got to get to a boil. And after that much work, I think it's time to uh, have some beer. Wherever the hell that went. There we go. Rock on. My beautiful 65 year old stove keeps on rocking. Alright, we'll be back. Alrighty, we're done. Unfortunately for me, I'm like 20 minutes late to be at an important engagement. So, 
I guess I'll have to stay home and eat a cookie and get drunk. Shit happens. As they say in Quebec, shit happens, huh? Oh, wait. Now, let these sit for 24 hours. Don't touch them. Don't move them. Don't talk to them. Don't even look at them. And after 24 hours, then you're good to go. And after, oh, a few minutes, the jars will set and they'll start to ping and pop. And we'll just clean all this up. And uh, always you get a little bit of brine left over. If you're doing multiple batches, well, there's no point in throwing it away because, you know, you can reuse it. So just put it in a container. Then when it gets about half full, that's like two liters, uh, you're good to go and you don't have to uh, make up another batch. Because, uh, I say, I got a bushel of beets, so I gotta have, oh, I don't know, eight to ten batches anyway. I've done two. This is three. All right. That is uh, beets. How I like them. Not how everybody likes them. Forget the cinnamon. Forget the cloves. That's uh, just horrible crap. And, uh, I don't know. I need more beer. There you go. After that much work, I think I deserve a treat. So, there you go. T. T is for tiger. Mmm, tiger. You get him, tiger. Oh boy approved. Right? Right. Okay. So, like I said, those are the bastard beats. And let's have a sip. Or for my buddy MMT, a zippy. Woo! And beer is good. Beer is good. So is this. Vodka. I'll see you later on, my friend. All right, rock on.